the fascinating world of sports entertainment, there have been many iconic tag teams that have captivated fans for decades, but few have achieved the mythical status and longevity of the Brothers of Destruction. This unique duo, consisting of legends The Undertaker and Kane, embodied pure destructive power and fearlessness. Their story is characterized by a complex sibling relationship, epic feuds and the reunion of one of the most dominant teams of all time. In this installment, we delve deep into the dark family history, tracing their rise to power and celebrating their greatest triumphs as an unstoppable force of destruction. The Undertaker entered the WWE's big stage in 1990 and quickly established himself as one of the promotion's most memorable and respected characters. His sinister aura and supernatural abilities made him a phenomenon without equal. But years later, at Survivor Series 1997, another dark entity entered the ring, Kane, the Burnt Demon. In a shocking moment, he attacked The Undertaker and the infamous feud between the brothers began. In the months that followed, a gripping story unfolded around the kayfabe half-brothers and their tragic fate. Through a series of vignettes, fans learned of a terrible fire in their youth that left Kane horribly disfigured. As the spurned younger brother, he now sought revenge on The Undertaker who was supposedly responsible. This personal and emotional story gave their feud a depth and complexity never before seen in WWE. The first official confrontation between the brawlers was a situational brawl at the 1998 Royal Rumble, which was just the prelude to numerous memorable matches fans would see between the Gravedigger and the Demon in the years to come. Starting with an Inferno match at Unforgiven 98, to the first edition of a Buried Alive match at In Your House, to the climax in an epic Hell in a Cell match at King of the Ring, 98. Their feud set new standards for narrative depth, story, and pure intensity in the wrestling world. After months of bloody conflict, 1998 saw a fateful turn of events that would change the course of history. At the breakdown, in your house PPV in 1998, the Undertaker finally formed an alliance with Kane after years of rejection. It was at this moment that the dreaded Brothers of Destruction were born. What began as a cunning move by The Undertaker to subdue the hate-filled Kane soon developed into one of the most dominant double alliances ever to enter a wrestling facility. The immense destructive power of the two combined was almost unstoppable. With their enormous size, superhuman strength and sinister charisma, they swept everything in their path from the rings. The pair's first major triumph came at WrestleMania Filthier 1999, when they won the tag team titles in a brutal clash against the mega power Steve Austin and The Rock in one of the main attractions of the night. This kicked off an amazing reign as tag team champions that lasted nearly a year and cemented their status as an unstoppable force of destruction. In the years that followed, they were sometimes rivals, sometimes allies in various storylines that further explored their dysfunctional brotherly relationship. However, they could never quite replicate their chemistry and dominance as a tag team. In 2010, the Brothers of Destruction reunited, heralding their final renaissance as a team. Although both were older and no longer in their prime, their mere presence as resurrected doppelgangers of their former selves was truly terrifying. The years leading up to 2015 brought some memorable moments such as their victory in the first edition of the Elimination Chamber match at Survivor Series 2010, or their temporary feud with the equally haunting Wyatt family. But their greatest triumph as a destructive force was yet to come. The year 2015 marked the reincarnation of the Brothers of Destruction in what may have been their final run together. Beginning at Survivor Series, The Undertaker and Kane showed up one after the other making it unmistakably clear that they were reunited under the banner of destruction. In a series of matches, they impressively demonstrated that despite their age, they were still an unstoppable force. The crowning glory of their rebirth was capturing the tag team titles at the 2018 Greatest Royal Rumble event in Saudi Arabia. In an epic finale, the iconic brothers defeated first the Bar and then the Usos in a triple threat match. As they stood in the ring and held their titles aloft, it was a picture for the history books. Two living legends, indestructible brothers, the culmination of their endless legacy. Their final matches together came at subsequent major events, including a loss to D-Generation X at Crown Jewel 2018, 
and their final tag team farewell at WrestleMania 34 2018 in New Orleans, where they fell to the Bludgeon Brothers usurpers in a fierce battle. This match marked the Brothers of Destruction's final performance together and the end of a unique era. After over 20 years of triumph, feuds and reunions, the two monuments of wrestling ended their unforgettable reign as a tag team. Even though they went their separate ways from then on, their legacy remains unforgotten. The story of the Brothers of Destruction is firmly etched in the pantheon of sports entertainment. No other tag team has ever embodied such pure destructive power, fearlessness and fascinating family history as these two iconic brothers. Their mythical status will forever go down in the history books.